What's going on everybody? It's Fry. So today we are doing an experiment with unexpected gifts. I don't feel like I've really given this card its uh, fair due in ter terms of competitive play. I usually use this in a meme deck with space time and with, you know, some dino roars. I really want to see how big the potential of unexpected gifts is as a competitive card, especially in a deck that runs out of steam and needs some serious card draw. Someone actually just now in the crazy tier list, which I'm posting this now on June 13th, uh, 2023, which is the day I posted the crazy tier list, explained how you can't really look at this as you know, a net of drawing two cards. You should really look this at this as drawing three cards because even though you are feeding one to your opponent, your opponent doesn't necessarily need the cards. If you're running this deck in a deck with all, if you're running this card, Unexpected Gifts in a deck with a low curve that runs out of steam, you're going to be able to utilize your third card much more than they are going to be able to utilize the random card that they are conjured. It happens to be the event class event cards are typically pretty strong. It's a pretty good uh, set of cards. Uh, so I'm going to be putting this in with Trick Mech. Trick Mech, as you know, is a very strong, very powerful tempo deck. You're going to start off either by playing your Con Man on turn one and then playing a one drop plus a trick on turn two. You have very strong one drops in the stack. Everything from Con Man to Genetic Experiment, which grows by itself. Uh, the Con Man will do a lot of damage, very hard to remove. Also powerful Grave Robber. It doesn't have any Gravestones in this deck. Doesn't need it. It's a one cost, two, two Bullseye strong card. Uh, and the Teacher. So the Teacher is a very important card in this deck. You want to play this on turn one and protect it either with your Healthy Treat or your Rock Wall. You got to sort of look at the opponents and, you know, know what their answers are uh, and, and play accordingly. But very often if you set up your Teacher early and then are able to protect and give put it up to four health using your healthy tree you can then the next turn develop two different minions and still play another trick uh, and it makes all your superpowers cost free as well it makes all the powers you get from quasar also cost free you end up with a wide board a board that is self-sustaining and growing you have the aerobics instructor and in place dry on turn two or reactive more on turn three and play it together with one of your superpowers or a uh, healthy tree uh, this, of course, will grow by itself. You don't need, again, any other dances for this to be good. This will just be a 4-3 the next turn and grow from there. Going viral, super important in this deck to give your guys an extra buff and also draw you an extra card. Fruitcake's removal, but again, if you run out of steam, we're running four expected gifts. I think maybe this could be better as a three of, uh, but we are going to run four just to see if the uh, <laughs> how much this really gets in the way and how much it helps us after you've really emptied your hand. You can do that pretty early in this deck. Uh, with the low curve and the teachers making all your tricks cost less. Let's see how the deck goes. We're going to be calling this Gift Mech instead of Trick Mech. And uh, let's do some bets. So these games should go pretty fast. This, game, this deck usually whoops some, whoops some, either gets controlled really hard and dies quick, but very often wins a lot of games. So we can do the full 10 games today. If you think that this deck will win 8 out of 10 vote yes, 7 out of 10 is going to be a no over here. At the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash from up, where we vote using our, we bet using our channel points. Uh, question is, should we be starting, keeping this in our starting hand? I don't think so. I, I'm almost reluctant to keep the aerobics. All right, this should be fine. So we can spam, 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 no matter what. The bets, of course, is the predict button. That'll be a blue button either on the top or the bottom of you guys live chat over here in twitch ah, is twitch gonna finally push me out twitch has all kinds of uh i don't know didn't really affect me that much but twitch rhymes with bitch <laughs> what is he gonna do with lily pad what is he gonna play here what goes here on turn two i'm very confused I think it's better instead of playing teacher and then maybe playing rea reactively. We'll do the teacher on turn three. We'll have two pretty good threats on the board right now. Okay, Amphibia Sunflower, guys. That's what's up. That is what's happening, the punish. So the opponent has Sunflower. We have Con Man and we'll have a 4-3. Unless see has that superpower. Nope. Side to go with the Shellery. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Shallery against a guy with three health. Very, very sad. I don't know. This opponent doesn't seem that scary. I'm not scared. So now we can develop Teacher, and we have two healthy treats, Rock Wall. And this is actually when we need our unexpected gifts. I hope we get it back. 
<laughs> it's gonna play Triceratops. Watch, I know Rose, right? Imagine if Rose had Triceratops. That would suck. That would sure suck. So, opponent had Weed Whap. You don't have to worry about Godify or Mog. I am just gonna buff that. I think I'll use two. Uh, I'd rather add some health. Again, this being a 3-4 is pretty strong. We win this trade using a healthy treat, so we've got four health on here. Another con man. The two for one shrinking violet's pretty sad. So Wonder if I should spend it. Sent to the void BC, your life crashed, but 15 months. Do you have any plans to finish Casey's mod inscription? I don't have plans in playing more inscription, but who knows? Who the heck knows? The best case scenario is the opponent plays a big card, we fruit kick it. And then we will get 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage. Opponent's gonna have 1 at the end of here. Ridiculous. Did I count that right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So Oh no! 11, 12 because the Astrocado pit. Yeah, guaranteed lethal. Got him on turn... What was that? Turn 4? Get wrecked, bro. <laughs> yep, yeah, thank you, Astrocado pit. One of the best cards in the game. Not getting it done this time. Yes! Beat this guy faster than the Nuggets beat the Heat. That's what I'm talking about. Draw a card for the loss. Yes! Heck yeah! Not getting it down there. And oh, I don't know. Do 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 do. Okay, let's see what the bets are. Are the bets even over yet? We beat that game so fast. No, we still got a minute, man. <laughs> Ninety-one percent vote. Yes. I'm guessing it's gonna go up. Now it's ninety-two. Imagine voting against Trickmack, one of the premier ducks in this game. Um, a little awkward here. Okay, that's better. So we can go one, two, three, and just play the tempo game. I think it'll be good. So the first turn, because of Chomp, I'm going to play this on ground. I don't want to play it on heights because of Colonel Fault. I'd, again, much rather this get Chomped than the... Then the con man, so it's gonna be one, two, if he plays black IP, I'll probably just kill that. And then three, and we'll play the other trick. Really good curve in our hand here, and the key of this deck, of course, is the ability, even without teacher, this will be our turn four play, love it. It's playing reactively, like here, the, 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 the aerobics instructor might be a little bit more of a powerful play. That happened. Uh, up off this, the, this is still the target for the, uh, for the thing. I'll just get the extra damage and get this on the board. Gronk. Um, so it's just aerobics and super. Kind of committing to super here, which isn't a card you want to commit to. You want to have more damage, but it'll be good. And we could just pass. There's actually a possibility of just not doing it we'll do it if it's good if it's really good i mean if the super is good here we're gonna end up with such a strong field and so much damage this is turn three this just, the opponent's gonna have most of their health missing already it's aerobics instructor i'm not gonna call it aerobics conductor we're not doing that there's no there's no conductors in this deck okay The chat's trying to throw me off. Come on, chat. I've done it too many times, I know, but still. Have some mercy on old, old Fry over here. Oops! <laughs> almost changed the scene in the middle of the stream here. We almost went full camera for you guys! Yeah, this guy's just conceding. Hi, fan. That's my biggest fan. Yay! I should troll you guys a lot more. I think it's fun. 
Wow, and a few people came in and voted no the last second, so we're only at 85% yes. And 15% no. I think one person just came in and voted a whole bunch of fries trying to get that huge payout. Unlikely. Get that bald guy off my stream. I want to see some PvE heroes. I want to see your big dumb face. Come by with me. Haven't seen Teacher yet. It's pretty good. Aerobics is pretty good on turn two against Grass Knuckles because Triceratops into Aerobics is actually sad. Wow, he's able to answer Con Man. Bonk Choi, not a very common card. Now, you don't see a lot of Bonk Choi's or Primal Potato Mines. Con Man is usually a safe bet. I think I will play around Spike Weed Sector and spam that on Heinz. What is with the Bonk? Stop playing Bonk Choi! Oh my god. Okay, that's stupid. Because all this does is do a little bit of damage to face, and you end up with a 2 1 on the board. A time to Shine is such a strong card. That Our card always dies anyway. I think that was a really bad play. Um, so we're going to go here and do the Lightning Bolt. We'll develop the genetic. Really like to develop this a little bit earlier. But we are able to get with the Lightning. It's really good at preserving the health on our Instructor that now is a 4-3. Really difficult card for him to make a good trade into here. Um, so we're gonna play Genetic here, I'll play Quasar, and we'll have a superpower. Hopefully a good one. That's a really good one. Not only are you gonna make a trade go better in one of these lanes, but it's also gonna draw us a card. So, incredible superpower in this situation. Even like a... Cactus. Yep, it works really well here, so we're gonna get this trade for free now. Love it. This is a card we want to preserve. This 3-2. This will be a 4-3 next turn. It's killing this guy for free. We got another strong card. Heck yeah. And we actually win the trade against the Cactus here. Cactus is very strange. He's running some kind of, I don't know, aggro deck, but he's playing control for some reason. So we'll either have 2-1-2 two, two, or we'll have 2 quasar and then a superpower. I think I'd rather commit to this. I'm going to put the non-rumbleable minion on the ground with the 3 health, and we're, we're committing to fruitcake here. Almost always, but again, we should be able to get a pretty decent one. Okay, now we're not going to even fruitcake. Is that, if that's all he does, it's kind of dumb. Uh, question is, should I fruitcake to keep a 4-3 going? I think I do. It also does a little damage this turn. It splashes my side of the field, though. Good Galactic Cactus, very strong card against the uh, against the crazy plus. Because it deals with aerobics instructor, it deals with a lot of things, and then at the end of the day, let's see if we get the superpower. Like something with some card draw. Oh! I'll take three cards. Now if one of these cards is a trick that costs three or less, this is gonna be really good value here. I really would like to see a playable a playable trick right now. Anything, even a lunchbox. I'd be so happy with that. Okay. A bungee, a rolling stone, extinction event, nibble. Anything playable right now gives us such an advantage. Oh, I think Terrify Clutch? Terrify Clutch? Oh, I'll take Terrify. So we're going five and four. Um, I mean, oh, we're kind of getting rumbled, though. Oh, what do I do? I, I'm going to play. We got Zombot. What am I going to do with the Terrify? I can either make the good trade in this lane and go face for four. I could YOLO the five. I think, well... Huh. I got to play this. I have to play this. I think I'm going to go face for five. And then we have a small chance if we roll one and one or one, two or two, one. Yes, yeah, so we needed the card for sure. Now we're just going to spam, spam card. This is going to be really good. Roll the two. Worst case scenario, he blocks, he rumbles this card, but we still have a few more dudes to set up here. And with going viral, we're, well, yeah, I need to know if he got the cards. We'll be in the money here. The Zombot, obviously not super useful, but decent Eureka. Well, here's some gifts now. So the play is 1-1. One, one. And going viral, is there a point in spamming this? I think so. 
going viral and maybe healthy treat find it I could have killed the cactus but that takes obviously a lot off of my side of the board that's a really really slow place <laughs> still growing the cactus guys it's OTK cactus that's guaranteed lethal for us now so didn't get to utilize the unexpected gifts we'll do it for BM estoy BM Oh, <laughs> I like the swimmer. Love the swimmer. It would have been an 8-2 this next turn. Too bad we won. It was going to be such a fun next turn. Stupid Zomba. Yes! <laughs> Terrified for the whale. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. Procking the block there with the, you know, using the Terrify and then opening up our 4 damage, which could win. But procking the block means now that any 4 damage coming in is going to be lethal. And we had, especially with the Going Viral, had a lot of ways to get that done. <sighs> we feed the opponent catcher mechanics. Just fight. We don't talk about that. You're right, though. Sometimes you can feed the opponent enough. A catch a mechanic is really, really good into trick mechs, so um, that would be quite sad indeed. I think two teachers is too much. This is a really good hand, though. It's a really good hand. So we could go teacher, you know, against Kabloom heroes, the teacher on heights with one of these is very important so it doesn't get berry blasted. I'm pretty sure against Grass Knuckles, though, since we don't want our teacher just dying here to a... <laughs> 4-0, this deck just whoops a tush. Um, they didn't play a card, so we won't count it. <laughs> oh. But, um... Uh, against Grass Knuckles, again, if you play your teacher on one, they can forget me nuts and kill it, and then you really don't get the value from the teacher. If you have two teachers in hand, just do that. You'd rather, them, rather get that forget me nuts out of the way. So it's probably better the Con Man, which again, you know, Grass Knuckles, his Forget Me Nuts would be very weak into. And you go from there. <laughs> Alright. Green Shadow. Little sad on the turn one here. There you go. One, two, three. It's pretty good. Yes. Uh, so I think in the interest of developing, usually in Green Shadow, again, you want this to be in two, so it has next to it a ground lane and a heights lane. There's something good about that. It gives you a little bit more freedom to keep this going. Very likely to see a black IP here, so we'll just commit to this and uh, Lightning Bolt, and we'll go with the Healthy Treat next turn. Maybe a Healthy Treat will be good, we'll see. There's the black IP. There's the lightning bolt. We always we already know how this goes. So we are maintaining our tempo on the board, removing his two cost card with the one cost card. This is a tempo deck. Look at our side of the field. Look at his side of the field. We have a huge advantage, and we're gonna gain another one this turn. Again, the reactive plays. The card you usually won in lane three in this deck is Quasar, because that's the one you'd like to see get hit by Green Shadow's ultimate. This is a really, really good setup though. That's why again I'm not playing this in three. That is a play. Did not play around Healthy Tree, which is going to effectively remove the Twin Sunflower for free, putting... Uh, Umbrella Leaf is not an answer to that many things, man. It's just so... I don't know. I don't like it. Uh, going Viral looks amazing. Looks absolutely amazing. We're going to go for Going Viral here. We, really, 2-2 two and two is fine also. I think Going Viral is game winning here, though. Going viral is such an important part, and now he's just trying to chump block, and going viral just eliminates. That's guaranteed lethal. <laughs> on what? On turn four? On another one. Okay, four and oh. <laughs> you know, we did this challenge of can I win ten, ten, ten games in a row, and Trick Mech was the deck we picked for the uh, zombie side, and it was just... <laughs> if you guys want to win some games, man... This is the deck. This is a different version. I'm running two Rolling Stones. There's a lot of different versions you can run of this, but the main things that you need are the Teacher, the Con Men, 
Um, in my opinion, the Quasars and the going virals are really, really important. Healthy tree and a genetic experiment is also really important. You don't need Grave Robbers. Aerobics Instructor you can replace with other cards. You can also add a little more late game. We've done like a king version of this deck. Then we're doing the unexpected gifts. The deck's just been winning so fast that we haven't really had an opportunity for unexpected gifts yet. Yeah, Umbrella Leaf is not a good card. So here's a bad hand. Let's see if we can make it better with some mulligans. This is not looking great. Can we get a one? Yes! Uh, it's a little bit confusing playing against Nightcap. This is not a great turn one play because of his super. It's probably better to play a little more reactive. We'd also like this to get very blasted. So I'm actually going to pass turn one. It's a little slow. There's that. I like aerobics plus on turn three. Also nice in case it's like, okay. Be able to play around that. Uh, I probably should be saving lane 2 for the genetic, but there's the berry blast on a less important card. It doesn't really matter for this turn since we burned the brain anyway, I'm using a 2 on a 1, but this is the card we want to really give the momentum to to keep it going. So passing here means he sort of has to play around Black Hole and Trapper. So that's also really good to play off curve. There she blows. These magic beanstalks are really racking up here, so... When we... It does look like a cycle cap deck when you see Cosmic Bean. That's like the card that really only appears in Cycle Cap. I think I'm gonna have to bolt this though, even though this is a really powerful Temple card. If he just gets too many Magic Beanstalks, it's gonna be GG's. So we are gonna go with this and still play Reactive, and we'll have on turn 5 a second Aerobics with Going Viral should be really good. We'll just play whichever one of these looks better here. Wow, Sour Grapes of all things. It's gonna be this for extra health. Since it's gonna be running removal. This actually just doesn't even look like Cycle Cap anymore. It just looks like a pile. He's running Cosmic Bean. I don't know. Um, we're going for the greedy going viral here. Wow, bye, teacher. See ya. Oh my god, that Bluesberry was harsh. What is happening here? So we can actually keep this alive, though. So that's really good news. Now we have two aerobics instructors, which are going to be pumping so much heat into each other. This still has three health, and this has four, so really going to be difficult cards for him to deal with. And we have going viral coming up. I think this is the turn we aerobics here. We, uh, we gifts. So I'm not going to... We, we can't, you know, we can play this and going viral. I'd rather going viral gifts here. Yeah, it's just pile cap. There's two admirals, though. This is scary. We still do have our Z-Mech. Um, we have our z super in here. We have 15 damage on the field right now. This is going to make it 17. In fact, should I go in viral first here? Oh my gosh, that's 8-1. Sheesh! Pile cap getting it done? Is there any... I, I really should... You know what? I'm going to do this after this game. I should have done this while we did the intro. I need to go into the collection and look at what all the event cards are. Is there anything here that really saves me? Is there anything in my deck that saves me? You know, a fruitcake I would actually use here. Um, same goes with a healthy treat. Is not quite enough. I would fruitcake three, though. They got it. All right. Thinking cap is very cool. Oh, look at the value. So we're going to get a... Unfortunately, our 9-5 goes down to this 8-1. Very sad. Uh, yeah, this is his last chance of really winning, is, the, is spamming beans next turn. So instead of waiting another turn, getting a little more value, I'm just going to eliminate his aggression. He has two cards now and 11 damage to deal. We're in exceedingly good shape. So I can go 4, 5, 6, 7... I can also go just these two. Yeah, this is probably better. Let's just keep the pressure going. I'm gonna spam, spam, spam. He's got a really... <laughs> four big threats on the board right now. And again, the moment he starts killing my minions... <laughs> he's going face with this, though? But bro, you're dead! Why are you drawing cards? It's guaranteed lethal! I guess it was anyway, though, right? 
He could block one. Block this. Ten. He could have taken... Well, he probably should have played the banana bomb and this in lane one and then hope to block. Anyway. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a look at what is in this and I'm particularly going to pay attention to the tricks. I feel like the minions, you're always just going to be able to play the next turn. I want to know what the, the clutch event card tricks are. So, interesting. Wait. Oh, this is Extinction Event. This does not count as an event card. That would have been nice, but that's not an event. So the tricks are Secret Agent, not super useful. There's Thinking Cat. There's Fruitcake, and there is Going Viral. <laughs> so these two cards we're going to be running in our deck are in the slot. Not a whole lot else going on in terms of tricks that can be played on the spot here. But this is two out of... How many is this? Nine... And 16, and another 16. So there's about 40, 41. So two out of 41, one in 20 chance of getting a playable trick, essentially. If you count Pinking Cap, it'll be three out of 41. It's not bad. Go! Stop overthinking. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, ZMAX Super is kind of busted. <laughs> it's just so good, man. I love how it went. I don't know if any of you guys are some OG PvC heroes. ZMAX Super used to do two damage in three random lanes. It was like Grass Knuckles, but a lot less precise. It was very, very bad. One of the worst ones in the game, just because of how unreliable. And uh, they changed it to the current version, which is three damage in one lane and one in all others. And yep, that's a lot of damage. I don't see the teacher being good here, to be honest. We're we're not going to be going tricks. We're going to be playing a lot of minions and spamming her. So this is a pretty good hand here. Uh, I'll start with con man. I'll play this in one just to play around the eventual shrinking pilot in case they don't answer this. It's an ad, bro. Omar, I think I know this. I'm pretty sure this is someone in the stream, so... <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for this on turn three. I think that's when we're really gonna get the value. No matter what. We'll put our two cards that grow to three attack in the middle. There's the goat. Okay. Second Admiral. Sus? Hacker? Admiral Hacker? If it is, we win, by the way. <laughs> if the opponent plays three Admirals here, we Z Mag Super and win. Very easily. We'll see. About to find out. No, it's not a hacker. This is still an insanely powerful play. I mean, we are so far ahead right now. We have the going viral on hand too, which is so important on this deck. It even makes the goat significant. We'll be doing two damage soon. And again, Mog is really sad. Weed Whack, Weed Whack would be okay, but it's gonna be too late actually. Weed Whack's not gonna hit anything. It'll hit the goat. <laughs> Everything's gonna have three health. So that's for goat. Oh, the sad jelly bean. So very sad. Here's going viral. Healthy treat would come in clutch. Nope, but that's okay. This dying means we do quasars and oh, this is not where you want to be as a rose player. Not at all. No, not a sniper, not a hacker. You just happen to have two early admirals. Spam them into Z Mac without testing for super first. Probably a mistake. There's Mog again. Very very sad. We get. I mean, <laughs> it's fine. Still two damage. Perfect. Uh, the superpower is definitely better than the 1-3 here. Yeah, and that'll do. I mean, absolutely whooping as and taking names. That is how the trick mech do. If you want to get quick wins in this game, man, this is how you do it. And other than the Quasar, you, you don't really need any legendaries, too. And these are all good cards to build to. If you want to craft cards like, um, you know, Teacher, Genetic... 
con man, fruitcake going viral, even aerobics instructor, healthy tree. Well, that's a common. Uh, it's an uncommon. And going viral. I mean, this deck also contains, for the two classes, the crazy and the hardy, like the heart and soul cards. It's the cards you want to craft for these two classes. So, I, I, I think in, this is a very, very craftable deck. Just because we're winning so much, should I throw by keeping this? No, I'm not going to throw. We haven't really seen the, the whole point of the deck, but we haven't really had much competition either. This is another uh, sniper. Fairly certain. I think I like this. I think we're going to go one, and we'll go two. Play around the, uh... the forget-me-nuts. Wow, running blind ball. Heal would be very sad. Yeah, usually heal's not gonna run primal because you want to take that damage early. Uh, I think being able to rolling stone is a good thing here. It's a lot of super rares. It's not really a cheap deck. Ooh. So now what? This is kind of tough. I mean, if we Rolling Stone, we're obviously not going to Rolling Stone lane 1. That doesn't do anything. We could Rolling Stone lane 2, which means he ends up with a 2-1 on the board. We end up with a 3-1 that grows. I think because of the way the... It's very sad. This is a really, really sad Rolling Stone. The way the tempo of this game goes, I'm pretty sure we have to spend that. We really need to maintain, maintain these cards here. Uh, we won't be going after the 2-1, so we have to worry about the splash. This anyway just grows next turn. Uh, let's see what we get now. That's a really good healthy trait, though, hopefully. I could have committed the strength here. I just feel like this could die. I'm going to wait one more turn to get a little bit more of a tempo buff from the strength. Strength's really not the superpower also that we want here. We either wanted health or uh, health or lightning bolts would have been better, but we are able to maintain both of these. I will commit this now. We'll get the six going. And now it's just, now we need going viral, Quasar, unexpected gifts are the three cards we need. Healthy tree ain't bad. Because unless he has removal, we'll be able to use that to win some trades. And these cards, again, growing every turn. So we're sort of getting a free, you know, call it a leftovers every turn, but with the 1-1 buffs. Woohoo! What? He's just chump blocking. So we pass. We pass. Uh, I'll, I, again, we use this to surprise him and to make correct the trade. These trades stand corrected. Can we please get a good card? Okay, these are not what we want to see. We really need some card draw. This is when we need gifts. Can we get the gifts now? See, we have four of them in the deck, and we keep getting them when it's like, eh, we're winning anyway. Uh, really hope he doesn't have Doom Shroom. <laughs> yeah, we do have to win fast. But again, one unexpected gifts, I think, wins the clutches this game out. Pretty sure. What are you doing, bro? I don't think I commit this yet. We could get up to 10. I don't think it's worth it yet. He can't really deal one damage. I could have used one here. Maybe using the one here was worth it. I think it's still better to trick him. There's Teacher. But he doesn't have removal. He just hasn't had answers. Period. He's a hammer. That's no help at all. Play a card he didn't even need. So we're set up to win now. Wow. Okay. Should be lethal. What a s <laughs> what a strange game. We need a gifts. I don't know what that was. I don't even know what was going on in that game, man. He didn't have anything. Really happy we made our, one of our minions, our key minions here, the genetic experiment, live there on turn two with a really low value rolling stone. Really ended up paying off. <laughs> I don't know what that game was, man. Seven and zero. Really a normal day at the office for this deck. We've had, this deck has probably been the most consistent 10-0, other than maybe like, you know, Valk, <laughs> Valkyrie decks. Valtrixta. If we get a trick, maybe I'll keep this. This ain't bad. We'll have a superpower. 
We can go two for against the Triceratops. And then we have the Quasar for free. And we're drawing two cards between now and turn three. I think we'll be okay. So again, since it's a Guardian hero, we're going to go Con Man on one. Teacher Fruitcake on two against the Triceratops. Then we'll have, again, Quasar. The superpower will be free from the teacher. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll pick up another one drop to complete turn three. Here's this now. The Concedes. Ain't nobody want to play against Z-Mag. z, -Mag. z -Mag is the zero to hero story in this game. He's who used to be in set one. Like, clearly the worst hero in the game. There was no Fruitcake. There was no Con Man. There was no genetic experiment. There was no Quasar. There was no teacher. There, I don't think any of the cards in this, the only card in this deck that existed was the aerobics instructor and Rolling Stone. And I'm pretty sure that's it. That's the only set one cards. Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> he just, he was useless. And his superpowers were a lot worse too. As I mentioned before, his super, his Z-Mech super, his ultimate, did two and three random lanes. He also didn't have lightning bolt. Instead he had backup dancers, which is garbage. All right, I think I'm gonna keep the gifts. I think it's it's throwing time. I think this is pretty good. We gotta see the gifts, guys. That's what the people want to see. Playing this again on the ground, we'd rather play into Spike Weed Sector than into Colonel Pult. Colonel Pult starts making a very good trade and starts withering this down if we play on heights on the ground. Not so much so. It also pings our block meter. So, yeah, you're seeing a very disproportionate amount of primal potato mines and bok choy. <laughs> you see a primal potato mine once a month in this game and a bok choy once every two weeks. But some reason when I'm playing Trick Mech, um, I'm going to actually go dry genetic. You can do this. It, it'll grow next turn. It's just a tempo play. Oh, come on, man. Okay, sus. <laughs> sus. Primal and Colonel Pult, okay. You know what, that was fine. He's got rid of a one drop. Hammer now? Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's a sniper. <laughs> no, it's not. Not even close, actually. And we do have the gifts coming up, which I think is gonna clutch this. Look at this giving us superpowers, too. Our superpowers are some of the absolute premier ones in the game. For real, for real. And uh, opponent just feeding them to us with this kernel pull here. We definitely benefited more. We played a one drop. Play a one drop that's... Okay. Stupid. Yay! Fine. Pretty sure this is when we gifts. We'll be able to use these. Ooh! For real, dog! Okay! I mean, he's not developing anything. It's fine. There, there's a new hand. I mean, pretty sure that helps us more than it helps him. Okay. Oh, we got some exploit. We got some, uh... So we end up with two Leprechauns. And then Hover Goat. <laughs> so we go four or five, maybe? I think I'll take it. will give us our goat back, so it's kind of like more card draw. We'll, we'll get the block eventually. And we're just playing for Lightning Bolt here. Okay. Here we go again. I'm going to do the same play and play with Fruitcake. Unless we get a better one drop. So four, five, six. Maybe not. Maybe I should let this hit us right now. And then we'll do the goat next turn. I think it's better. An extra superpower could go a long way here. It'll either strengthen one of these or be extra lightning bolt. Move a plant, move a plant. This guy just can't. <laughs> can't. Just can't. Uh, I think healthy treats still gonna be better later. I'll use this later. We're not gonna be really pressed for brains. We're gonna be pressed for cards. 
We can empty our hand anytime we want. So I'm gonna spread the Ooh, love to see going viral, the clutchiest card. So we'll take that back. This goes up to four, which means with going viral, it will be going face this turn. Nice to spread the love too. Hopefully no Doom Shroom. That's interesting. Okay, so going viral brings this to four, and then Rockwell brings it to nine. It means it'll be down to one health. Going viral does make this live. The other play is Fruitcake. We can we can like Rockwall the Rootwall this one. And it means then we have to spend something on the goat. So I think this being down to one is okay. So again, this will have. This will have four, it'll have nine, and it's taking eight. I think this is right. We're also then, it preserves this, it keeps these little tricks in our hands fine. It also makes us go face for five this turn, which is very cool. So we are spending a lot of cards against a Guacodile, but keeping the aer aerobics instructor. We do have a little bit of extra health for that. We also, again, do have the goat. It's pretty, pretty good. Explodes, going face for five and ten. Just closing down the amount of time this game takes, especially with two fruit cakes in our hand, which means we are quickly going to get card disadvantage. We would actually like to speed the game up. Here's a heal with no minions getting healed and 13 health. I don't know about that heal. Not so sure about that one. More gifts. The uh, question is, which one of these should we be going for? Doesn't really matter. We can fruitcake any powerful minion he plays, and then anything else gets countered by healthy trait. Probably will give here. We are gifts, we are gifts. Uh, so we could fruitcake and then healthy tree to make both of these go face. That'll result in 15 damage. Uh, it's a little unintuitive, but we're gonna healthy treat this one and fruitcake this one. I know this one looks like it needs to be fruitcake, but no. And we'll keep on getting the free goat every turn. <laughs> so you're seven. Eight. Went all the way through to face. Love to see it. There's our pot. Love to see that, too. I don't think I'm going to gifts right now. The opponent's actually low. Um, so I, I think I'll just pot see what we get. <laughs> Zemek does a special dance if he does a lot of damage to the opponent. He does like a little... I'll, I'll try to keep an eye on that, it's very important. Very important information. What is he doing now? Where did this go? This was you know, like Free Nut now, it came from Cosmic Nut. Which... okay, so we'll start off with you. What's in the box? Why stand on mountains? So you don't need any help. You don't need any help. We could like fruitcake here. You know what I say? I say why not? This kills the three two. I don't care about taking three damage. Yeah, uh, goat obviously won't go face for two. Very sad. He's deciding to fly away. So he needs to roll three and basically just get super. Is the only thing that saves him here. Not quite, so we're already 8 and 0. The question is, will we go 10 and 0? I think Unexpected Gifts kind of clutched that game out. We got the two Leprechauns and the GOAT. Unexpected Gifts OP. <laughs> and a guy who was actually really able to slow us down a lot for the first like five turns of the game. <sighs> Primal Potato Mine is one of those cards I still haven't discovered. I think it depends what you're up against. Primal Potato Mine can be very good, it trades very well, but like, why not just run Bong Choy? I guess if you're Grass Knuckles, that would be more of a question. But like, you're right, against the crazy class, it's really, really, really good. Um, and plus, there's, you can't play reactively, like the whole way we play, you know, it doesn't do anything against healthy traits, so it is very weak against the hardy class, but against just crazy. I, I, I don't think I haven't discovered it yet. I think it's just like a matter of what are you up against? Do you also want to be intent? Like, I'd rather run Galactic Cactus. It's completely outclassed, in my opinion, by Galactic Cactus. The Galactic Cactus does everything that the other one does. It doesn't kill Con Man that turn, but it splashes the next turn. Galactic Cactus is like, you know, once you're running Galactic to deal with crazy, I just don't see much reason to run Primal Potato Mine. 
Okay, so let's try... I'm gonna go with this on turn one. We're testing for, I don't know, he has some little things that deal two damage. We'll go with both of these on two. We'll also see here if he has a forget me not. So he'll just kill it with one of his one of his little carrots. This is what the beta carotina do. Really good that he doesn't have that. Once we develop genetic experiment, he could really stunt the growth of it. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, we do want to develop now the card that grows. We can play reactively really, really well here, and then Con Man will come next turn. We want to get this growing sooner than later. Goes after, I think, the complete wrong card. I don't even think we... I don't even think we protect the teacher here. We don't really need it. I think I'm just going to do this. There's Sham Rocket, which is a little set. Yeah, and the difference is Primal Potato Mine, of course, just stunts what the opponent does. It doesn't actually practically help you win. Uh, this is the better card to develop right now, because, again, it does grow. So this with Lightning Bolt should be really, really good here. It is so good. Gotta play reactively. Right. See, this what would have been a good trade. The same 3-3 three, three now. It's almost impossible for him to put something with, like, five. he'd have to put something with 5 health in order to just answer the aerobics. We really want card draw now. Uh, we did get another engine. But we're really, again, at this stage, looking for a Quasar. A going viral is the absolute best thing, and unexpected gifts would be clutch, too. It's a really good shrinking. It's not... It, that's an okay shrinking. It's two for one. It doesn't... It didn't hurt this that much, to be honest. It's so poor seven. It's still a card that's basically impossible for him to trade with. Well, he's just chump blocking. It's fine. Thank you, Ribsy. Yo, I'm You're in the, the States. States. It is daytime. What is this like? <laughs> Hi, Ribsy. Ribsy, of course, lives out east. But uh, comes to visit the state sometime. Thank you, Ribsy. For 52 months. Been around the stream a long time. That is not going to give him a playable card, so we are still going to face. For five! Opponent's down to four now. We got a fruitcake in hand, which is kind of all we need to clutch this out. Can we get some card draw, please? Pretty please. See what's coming in on turn six. Okay. Um, do we fruitcake that? I don't think so. I think there's going to be a better card to fruitcake. Can always do it next turn. It, it means we're going to be taking four damage in lane two. But it has enough health. The health of this isn't really of that much substance. We're getting controlled here, though. I mean, I don't know. Brainana would go, oh, come on, man. So now what? The good news is the opponent is not going to have a board. I am going to do... I definitely... I have to fruitcake because we have to keep these alive. Opponent has so much... The problem is now Dragon. Dragon means he'll be down to 4 health. And then the dragon dies too. Can we get, please, something good? Oh. You know, it's called Brick Mech, nicknamed that for a reason, because every once in a while, again, we're just, we're not drawing the good cards down the stretch. I haven't seen the Rolling Stones yet, but they're very good at dealing with the Guardian class. That's why I run them. You go Teacher with a one drop, and then you Rolling Stone their Tricaritas, and it's just game winning. Maybe he'll play Bicanolith. I would love if he played Bicanolith here. No such luck. Just, But again, he's just losing cards. He's just feeding us cards. There's no point in doing this. He hasn't even touched our health yet. And we still have three monsters. Can we please get our going viral? Please, there's Quasar. I'll take it. Come on. Give me something good. Don't give me heal. God damn it. <laughs> Come on, man. Brick Mac intensifies. <laughs> There's a great zucchini. No, oh my gosh. Even if we had it going viral, we'd still be okay here, but not now. We are so screwed. Just because we, we need our gifts. We need something. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I don't think we're going to win this. If we get going viral after going viral after going viral, we could probably clutch this out. But it is rough. This doesn't help us at all. I'd rather chump block with my with my super there, and he's still heal. <laughs> we're getting... I, I don't think we have a chance anymore, guys. 
This will be the loss. Uh, I'm kind of rolling stone that. Just in case we get our going viral, this is going to be important. <laughs> Seven damage. Ridiculous. Come on! We could still clutch this! Okay. Okay, here. I uh, don't think that's going to do anything. Nope, not really. Which environment would be the best one to get right now? Probably like Area 22. Just need some tempo. Oh my god, laser beam. <laughs> we can't, we need going. <laughs> Guys, we got Bucket Bay, have no fear. Bucket Bay is here. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll use that next turn on something. I don't know what yet. One more turn going, Varo. This is your last chance. <laughs> nope. So we have to... Well, we have to chump block everything. I guess if we're spamming dancers, which we always are this turn. Might as well keep the aerobics alive, right? Not only did we not get the best environment, we got the worst one. <laughs> Laser Bean actually draws here, no matter what. No matter what. Yeah! I don't think this healthy treat makes anything survive here, right? Nope. The 10 and 0 dream is definitely dead, but again, that'll happen. The deck can break. There's that's what happens when you run a lot of early game cards. If you only get them and you're against a hero with this much healing, this much control. <laughs> I'm calling Quasar. Alright. We concede those. We are eight and one. Oh, I forgot to reward the bets. The bets are already settled. The answer's yes. Here's the last game, guys. Redemption game. Gifts Bad Moon Rising, flush it out. It, it's funny because the two games we really needed unexpected gifts, we did not get them, or going virals, or anything. Uh, it was just ended up being a grind, one win, one loss. So, not super reliable unexpected gifts, you know? It's only 4 out of 40 cards. I really want to see the good gifts game. It's We can't keep this in our... Keeping this in our starting hand is, is inting. Intentionally throwing. This is... I mean, uh, do we go for the Quasar? Quasar has an environment in it, which might be good. Kind of don't want to play this on one. Looks like we have no choice. So it's going to be one, two. And then we Quasar and hope for an environment or hope he plays around our shadow environment. Of course, he starts off with his super whenever I make a play on turn one against Nightcap. Pretty reliable. Yeah, uh, people gifted some subs. Just play away and switch you. Gifted some subs yesterday. Uh, really committing the healthy tree. Probably just gets berry blasted. In which case, we kind of lose. No berry blast. Thank you. Okay. In fact, he did not have the removal card there. Goes away. He could still have it. He could have conjured it. Who knows? Um. I think we're going to have to develop this. We'll have either. Probably just Lightning Bolt here. Lightning Bolt basically deals with whatever he plays. If he tries to play a berry in two, we'll just Lightning Bolt it and uh, kind of mess him up. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna very sadly have to let me bolt this. We just have to keep one of our engines alive. It's the only way. There's that. Huge rock wall. Huge. Huge. There's teacher. Uh, we'll see what we get from the quasar and then decide if teacher's worth it. Chop is not what we need. He might play some. What is he gonna play that is choppable though? Maybe next turn. Yeah, not great. Not great. I'm not even committing this yet. 
if he plays like, I don't know. Do I fruitcake this? I don't think so. I think there's gonna be better fruitcakes. We really have to preserve our cards. Oh, uh, yep, eight and one. Sorry, I forgot to. Yes, we got gifts now. All right, here we go. Is this the gift game? I think this is gonna be the one. We're gonna take some ping here, but it, it's it. We have to. There's no choice. Man, thinking cat for next turn would be fine. It's another gifts. Another gifts. So we got pretty bad sneezing zombie. Help a ton here. I don't think he's running bounce. I think putting more attack into this. I know this. It's punishing us really hard here. How do we do this? We just go for the trade here. The good trade. And we're just playing for chop. And that's it. We're also clogging lanes, so we're 7 health. Doesn't put us at a huge disadvantage. There's some things we can play that are choppable now. Anything from um, Gloom Shroom to. Really, really weak play here. We're going to be able to play the. Uh, if he gets a mushroom here, I, I actually would really like to be able to play the uh, sneezing here. So that's good. So three minions lit. We don't need the teacher anymore. The brains are no longer of substance. We are going to try to kill this Admiral. Just so he doesn't bean us anymore. Don't want to see that happen. There's Fruitcake. Love to see it. So now we got lethal in either lane 3. Or sort of like combined lanes 1 and 2. We have a Fruitcake and a Chop. If they're not active, we'll just unexpected gifts and keep on... You know, he has 9 cards in his hand. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is the worst thing we can see with the full block meter. This is the worst case scenario. Now we lose. He's just going to play four minions. He has six on and, and seven cards. Eight cards. There's no... We automatically lose here. There's no way. There's no way. This is the card. This is the thing that kills us here. And he got us. So sad. There's no way he's right, even if he's running tricks. Are you high? And he got another Astro Shroom. Really? Are you kidding me? He threw. He threw. We had that game in the bag. He absolutely threw that game. And he got Astro Shroom anyway. From Molecale. Come on, man. <laughs> Oh, that hurts! That hurts! Eight and two. The not clutch. <laughs> Was that just advanced BM? Just some advanced BM, man. Alright, I'm gonna play one more game. Hey, we're actually at 59,599 followers. I almost up to 60k. Alright, we'll play one more game here, guys. So we don't end on two tragic losses. Come on! We got one more in it. We got one more. This game's going fast. Let's kick someone's tush. Come on, man. Ah. Falcom. Alright, let's go. I'll show you what the Rolling Stone does in this matchup. It's really good. We'll have a good Rolling Stone here at some point in time. Play against around the two twos. I did not see the Mario movie. I probably should. I go to movies a lot. Just wait till they come out on Disney. 
One of my favorite movies of all time, Avatar. You know, Avatar 2 I did not see and it just came out on Disney. I'm going to watch it there. I don't know. <laughs> it's not like a million really my thing, the movie theaters. I like sitting in the comfort of my home and I like to be able to pause the movie. The problem with the movie theater is you can't pause it. You have to go to the bathroom. You just miss like a really important part in the middle of a three hour and 15 minute movie. Like, I want to sit for three hours and 15 minutes. I have ADHD, okay? I don't know. Something like that. I can't sit still, still for three hours, guys. It's not for me. You gotta get up and stretch, at least in the middle. What happened to the Twitch chat? Oh, there. It froze for a second. La, 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 la. Solid movie, you should watch it. I heard it's dark. I heard Boo, Boo character is a dark, dark child. Just piss your pants, bro. You don't gotta get up. You gotta be committed to the Mario movie, okay? Dude, he <laughs> conceded. it. I mean, it counts as a win, right? <laughs> he played his beta. He played his beta super and took damage from my comment. Okay, one more. Do I actually have ADHD? I don't know. I can't sit still. I saw this guy, really annoying guy on YouTube, who's like, Fry, if you learn how to sit still, I'd actually watch your channel. It's like, no. Go watch, go watch, I don't know, Penguin Z, whatever the frick his name is. Go watch Moist Critical, King of the Normies. Go watch that guy. If you want someone unremarkable. <sighs> There's definitely a market for that, though. What can I say? What can I even say? <sighs> we need an engine card. What we need. One, two, three. Oh. This is proper teacher trick mech right here. <laughs> Honestly, the genetic experiments are probably more important in this deck than the teacher is, even though it's Trick Mech in this version. Now, this is the final game. Now, this guy concedes too. Guys, we're going to get there eventually. Eventually. Another one bites dust. Another one bites the dust. Ew, I hate Moist Critical, oh my gosh. He's like the typical person who all of his ideas are formed by society and not from having an intellectual on his mind. He's just like the epitome of that. And I understand why he has such a big audience, too. Because there's a lot of people like that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Man. Props to him. It's just not for me, man. Not for me. Okay, here we go. For real this time, guys. For real this time. <laughs> Mog's my teacher. Oh, well, he's gonna pay for that. Uh, okay. It's not bad. I'll probably cover it. Let's go. We live in a society, exactly. It's like his motto. <laughs> Okay, for real. This is the last game now. For real this time. Bro! So this will do two, and then we'll do... Uh, I basically just have to fruitcake that now, right? Man. Photosynthesizer. It's just probably... I could just let these trade. We'll see what happens here. The spike weed sector is really screwing us up, though. I might just fruitcake that. Three now. Um, pretty sure we're doing this play. Gotta keep our dude going. <laughs> I 
I just summoned him. <sighs> Good going viral and coming. That three knot was a little premature. It didn't really get any value from it. No, don't forget me, knots. I'm dead. God damn it. It's the one thing that kills this entire play. He had it. Oh. Walnut, okay. Now, what do we do? Now what do we do? Double going viral, I guess. And hope for the best. What the heck is going on? <laughs> the most anti-trick deck in the history of decks. Uh, hopefully we'll get our z -Max super. That will definitely go a long way here. Oh. Oh. Uh, let's see what happens. Going viral does make this go face and survive, and then once we do that, we'll actually get another superpower. What the hell? It's a nut deck! That's why the Sporticus is a nut. Kind of hilarious. Okay, that makes this play a little more efficient, to be honest. Uh, let's see what happens. I'd really like to get my Z-Max Super here, that would go a really long way. So, Rock Wall... I definitely play this. Um, Rolling Stone doesn't do anything, we have Healthy Tree. So we're taking, both of these are taking six. Uh, we'll obviously protect the one that's... Bigger. Um, giving this... Health doesn't do anything, right? The Undying Pharaoh is going to be pretty clutch here, too, I think. Taking a lot of heat, though. Sporticus really doing a lot. Really wanted to see my z mac there, but... It's okay. Oh. The, the, the rock wall was okay. This looks pretty good. Even if Teacher gets removed, we still have the Pharaoh. Uh, keeping us nice and happy. Doom Shroom, for real? I mean, it makes sense in a, in a Loco Coco deck. So that's very sad. I think we just lose. How could we clutch this game out? Um, I, I don't have enough time to think about this, to be honest. This Galactic Cactus exploding dies now, though, so I don't think there's really a way. Unless so we got some miracle superpower. Nah, there's no way. Dang! Hmm, good answer to this deck, though. I think Pine Clones are pretty good against this deck. Maybe uh, the other answer is, uh, what's his face? Loco Coco. Yeah, that'll do it, guys. Too bad. Oh, eight and three. <laughs> are we exposing all the weaknesses? We went eight straight games, and now we're exposing all the weaknesses of the deck. One more, guys. This is really, 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 for real, for real, the last one. For real this time. Um, it was a lot of forget-me-nuts down the stretch in a case where we didn't have our Z-Max Super to deal with them. 
Uh, a lot of forget me nots and Sporticus, that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. Again, we only have two Rolling Stones and then our superpowers. Justin, get him. Alright, for real last game. Real talk. <laughs> this hand. <laughs> oh, hopefully this hand will get a little better in the next two turns. Uh, not click me, please. <laughs> I sound like an addict now, right? <laughs> Last one for real, I promise. See if we can free kick the uh, Triceratops here and maybe get some momentum with this teacher. That means he has to not. Could you not, bro? Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> okay. I'm glad the time to shine is gone. I think if we top deck a couple good minions here, we'll be fine. They just have to not be quasars. Basically, just no quasars, please. That is okay. That is okay. Oh no, we don't really have a follow-up here though. I probably had to kill this, to be honest. We just have strength. Against Captain Cucumber, this will work. What the? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? We need our ZMEX Super. That is what we need. Bruh, I have to free kick. It's anyway a 3-2. Keeps our guy alive. Goes face. We need at least one minion to survive between turns here. Okay, now we're gonna get our z Max Super and we're gonna be back in the game. Back in the back in the back in the game. In one of these. We have gifts, guys. Nothing could go wrong. <laughs> could possibly go wrong. Guys, <laughs> stop being mean to me. Um, uh huh. What a quick peek. Maybe I should have gifts there. Extra damage to face. Give such synergy with Cotton Man. Let's go. Now what? <laughs> A rolling stone. All right, we're probably the good news is we're probably gonna get. Yeah, these forget me nuts. I I used to think this deck was actually decent against forget me nuts. What is with the click fees? I can't deal with that. <laughs> Bruh. Clutch, get the free kick quick before it's too late. Clutch, get the rock wall on the block. I could also go one way. Gifts. Okay, give me some good ones. No, no garbage here. Okay, there's a little synergy going on. There's a little stuff. You get an amphibious. Pump it down to uh, 11. Can I get Rockwell? Yes. So that lives. It at least gets rid of the 5 2 and puts a little more damage on face. Okay, so now what? I could. I could do this. I think the goat's just gonna go here. I don't think I'm teaching it. I think I'm gonna go and do this next turn. And we still have a Rolling Stone. We have Rolling Stone with uh, Stupid Cupid. That's some synergy. This has Frenzy, right? Uh oh. <laughs> uh, we'll rolling stone this one, I think. Yeah. This has frenzy, right? Pretty sure it has frenzy. La, 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 la. Oh, it has frenzy. Going viral would have been good last turn. I think now we can go with this one so it doesn't die and then copy the five damage. 
I think we'll be good to go. We can also get six instead. Is six better? Uh, I think I'd rather have five and an extra throw on the board. Da -da -da -da. I don't know what to do. Opponent hasn't blocked at all, have they? Has the opponent shown us a superpower? Rock wall? Yeah, they use time to shine. Like an idiot. Like, we'll play around Spike Weed Sector, which might help in him surviving this turn. I want to end on a win. Guys, I think psychologically, besides for everyone in the chat who's trolling, I think people gamers, let me give you gamers a little bit of advice, okay? It's a tendency, especially in competitive games, PvZ Heroes, Overwatch, I noticed too, is that people get frustrated and turn off the game on a loss. But when they win, they say, oh, they're feeling really good, they want to play more. You really should not do that. You need to end on a win, because then you leave the game feeling good. You have that serotonin. You feel good about yourself. If you leave when you're frustrated, you're going to carry that frustration into the rest of your life. A little bit of uh, psychological advice in the Prime Upstream. So I want to end on a deck where we went 8-0, and and then we lost three games. I want to leave the stream with OW, you know? I think that's good. I think it will leave me in a better mood. I think it'll leave you guys watching the stream and the YouTube video. Leave you guys in a better mood. Victory. I got nine and three. Very solid. Were the unexpected gifts worth it? That's the good question. This was a great stream though. So that will definitely go on YouTube. Thanks for joining me for another Brick Mech <laughs> stream. With gifts, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, this is Fry.